Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video we'll gonna discuss atomic integer in Java. Okay, so let's first a let's first see a problem statement. Then we'll gonna see how atomic integer solves that problem. Okay, so already I have uh, written some program to reduce some time. Okay, so here uh, I have created a class like atomic integer test and initially I have a variable int counter as a zero and I have a method increment counter where I am incrementing the counter one by one. So each time we'll call this method, uh, this counter will be in incremented by one. Okay, and this is my main method where I am creating uh, a executor service so it's a thread pool of 10 thread and then I am creating a set where I will add all my tasks right so this is a set of callable and in this set I am adding multiple callable objects okay so this is a lambda expression where I am creating callable objects or we can say I am passing this lambda as a callable okay so inside this callable I have what I have done so I have created a for loop and in inside this for loop I am calling this increment counter okay this for loop is for 1 to 500 so this increment counter will be called 500 times okay so the same thing uh, I have repeated three times so here you can say three threads are there so three tasks I have submitted one task uh, run that increment counter for 500 times another task run the incremented counter for 500 times and another one run 500 times so here three threads will be run each of this for loop so this will be run by a separate thread and this will be run by a separate thread and this will run by a separate thread this task okay so if you will ideally see each thread will incremented this counter 500 times right so here 1 to 500 here 1 to 500 so here 1 to 500 so ideally what should be this counter value 500 into 3 right so it should be 1500 ideally it should be 1500 but let's run this one and we'll gonna see so here what i have done so i have i am invoking uh, all those tasks right so this means these tasks are assigned uh, will be assigned to different threads and it will run independently with different threads okay and here i am waiting for some time to complete all these tasks some three seconds I am providing it's it's optional as we are uh, very few computations are there okay then I am printing this counter this counter I am printing okay now let's run this one and we'll gonna see what is the result it's coming okay run as Java application ideally it should be 1500 but let's see in our program what it's coming okay so it's coming as a 1500 first time now let's run let's see one four double three okay one four double three now let's run it again Fifteen hundred. Let me run it again. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. one three four zero just see so sometimes it's coming as a 1500 and sometimes 
uh, it's coming as a uh, 1300 1300 something or 1200 something right so let's see this 1340 instead of 1500 it's coming as a 1340 so why it's coming okay so this is known as lost update okay so let me explain you what happening here so for example here i have integer a is equal to 0 and i have three threads are here okay so first thread it's read that value as a 0 second thread it's read that value as a 0 and third third thread it's read the value as a 0 okay so first thread is trying to increment that value so what will the value will be here here we'll get 1 again second thread while it's reading the value as 0 right so that time if it will increment what will be the value so it will increment by 1 so what will it will be 1 again the third thread also read that value at the same time right so all these three threads read this value at the same time so while each of these thread read that value all of for all of them the value was 0 so while updating the value or incrementing the value all these thread will increment it by 1 and it should be like 1 let's see so so at the end if i will print that value what it will be it will be 1 instead of 3 it will be 1 so this is known as lost update so why why this is happening because we have a shared resource this is a shared resource and all these threads are trying to update that value so that time uh, we may face lost update problem okay so to mitigate that problem we do have atomic integer okay so a class is there atomic integer and if you will implement that atomic integer we will not see this kind of issues okay so let me run it again okay uh, let's modify this uh, just see 1458 so let's modify this program with atomic integer and we'll gonna see okay so instead of this one let me comment it out atomic integer atomic integer counter i am taking okay counter is equal to new atomic sorry not auto it's auto equal to new atomic integer so default value if you are creating like this it will take as a zero uh, then what we'll do let me comment out this code so here lot of methods are there to perform our operation so counter dot get and increment if you want to increment the value so here one method is there get and increment okay pretty simple we have done and here what we need to do uh, no changes required so here instead of test counter counter so counter means what it's a atomic integer right so another method is there to get the value counter dot uh, get okay so let me explain you one once again what i have done so instead of integer counter i have commented it out and i have taken atomic integer so atomic integer is a class if you'll see it's present in uh, which package java dot util dot concurrent package okay so here different a lot of methods are there to perform different kinds of operations right increment and all those stuffs you can go through these things okay so 
that is a thing and same way so three threads are trying to update this uh, value get and increment okay now let's run this one multiple times and we'll gonna see run a java application 1500 I'll run multiple times to show you practically 1500 so why uh, again let me run it again 1500 let me run it again 1500 let me run it again. Fifteen hundred, right? So just the see, I have run multiple times, but still it's coming same as a fifteen hundred. Okay, so this atomic integer will uh, will help us to um, wherever we are using uh, integer as a uh, integer in a multi-threaded environment, uh, there uh, we can use atomic integer right so like this if you'll see we have done okay and here multiple methods are there get and increment decrement and if you want to set some value like uh, first time it's coming as a 500 second time you want to update it to 600 so this kind of this kind of operations are also present okay now let's see the theory part we have practically seen right how it solves that um, problem in concurrent environment okay now let's see uh, some theory so thread safety as you know atomic integer is designed to use it in a multi-threaded environment so we have practically seen so first we have seen a normal integer uh, in a multi-threaded environment we are getting some lost update problem and uh, different uh, value we are uh, getting at the end but while we are using atomic integer uh, we are getting the correct result right so performance atomic integer operands are generally faster than using a, a traditional a synchronized integer and it's a non-blocking so atomic operations are non-blocking means that they do not block the uh, executing thread providing a uh, it's provide a more responsive uh, system and additional methods as you have seen atomic integer class provides multiple uh, utility methods to perform uh, different kinds of operations right so get and increment and increment and get uh, like the different operations are provided and atomic integer provides atomic operations which are very useful in the uh, concurrent programming right so we have seen in that uh, program okay so hope you got a crystal clear picture about uh, atomic integer and how uh, we can use uh, atomic integer in our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, java application right uh, and let me tell you one practical uh, approach where uh, i have used right suppose you are going to an interview and that interviewer asked so where uh, we have you have used atomic integer so how you'll answer that one okay so uh, the scenario is that so recently i have used the same thing so uh, suppose two calls are there you are making two api calls okay so first api call you are hitting into a web api and after getting the response after getting the response you are calling a second api okay so here you do have a certain numbers of call suppose you are calling 500 times okay so if you are calling 500 times so how many calls should be here this uh, this two api call one api call 500 times and second api call 500 times so what will be the total call it will be it should be 1000 right so it should be 1000 let's let's say example multiple threads are doing this thing multiple threads are acting on this 
method so whatever that method is there and inside that method two apis apis we are calling and to that method multiple threads are calling so that time we may result this count so you are counting how many number of api calls are happening right so that time we may get lost update lost update problem so that time we can uh, use a atomic integer and we can have uh, actual number of api calls right so hope you got a crystal uh, clear idea that a practically idea where we have implemented uh, uh, that atomic integer as well okay so thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side right so thank you all